allow him to crawl up toward the top. He may prefer me as a flight substrate, I don't know. Well, what we we're doing here today at the St. Louis Zoo was uh, testing out a, a new and very small radio transmitter to see if we could put it on the, the pronotum or the back part of the beetle and actually see if it would be able to fly. The reason why we were doing that is because we wanted to be able to deploy these transmitters uh, in the field to actually be able to track the beetles and begin to get a better sense of what type of habitat preferences they had and other life history uh, puzzles, if you were, that we don't have a great amount of insight into now. It's about just under a third of their body weight. So, And the other consideration is that there's a long wire that's coming off of this that's basically allowing the signal to be propagated. And uh, that may change their, their flight dynamics a little bit. Hopefully not too much. Maybe it'll act like the tail of a kite. We don't know. But I'm sure the beetle will, will uh, have a fairly strange sensation when he first takes off. To... Well, what we were doing today basically was trying to see, can the beetle actually uh, go through the mechanics of flight? And I think we were successful in that regard. The beetle was able to fold out their four wings and, and, and actually fly. The problem I see as it now is that this transmitter is a little bit on the heavy side and I think it would impede their flight. So what we'll do at this point uh, is go back to the manufacturer and uh, work with them to pare the weight down to allow the beetle to move unimpeded and uh, be able to, to uh, track its movements in a more natural fashion.